हेलो एवरीवन इन कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द लेसन नंबर फाइव द डेफिनेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट टर्म्स ऑफ ईएमएस वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू द रिमेनिंग टर्म्स रिलेटेड टू एनवायरमेंटल मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम सो इन दिस लेसन नंबर सिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टर्म्स which are related to the environmental management system and the contents are been designed with an objective to understand the different terms which are used in the context of environmental management system so in this lesson we are going to cover the definitions environmental condition prevention of pollution a requirement conformity non conformity and corrective action so the first definition of this lesson is environmental condition it is defined as a state or a characteristic of the environment which is determined at a certain point of time the environmental condition in which an organization operates can have a lot of effect of the environmental management system of the organization hence it need to be understood what is the present environmental condition at that particular organization say for example if organization is been situated in an earthquake prone area and because of an earthquake natural calamity certain environmental disasters situation occurs in the organization premises so the environmental condition contributes to that environmental impact hence understanding of this environmental condition and its interaction it's necessary the next definition is given of prevention of pollution several approaches are necessary in environmental management system for enhancing the environmental performance and reduction of negative impacts on to the environment so how this is possible by use of processes practices techniques materials products services or energy to avoid reduce or control the creation emission or discharge of any type of pollutant or waste in order to reduce adverse environmental impacts so lot of approaches can be used for reduction of adverse environmental impacts that is why it is mentioned separately or in combination that we are able to use these approaches separately at different locations at different functions of the organization or this can be used in combination the ultimate aim of this prevention of pollution is to reduce the adverse environmental impacts in environmental management systems efforts are necessary to reduce the negative impacts on to the environment and to enhance the situations where we can increase the positive impacts to the environment the next very important term which is used in environmental management system is a requirement basically iso 14001 standard gives the requirements to be fulfilled by the organization so these requirements are stated in the form of a clause or sub clause in the standard so in this environmental management system the need or expect expectation that is stated is or is generally implied or it is obligatory to the environmental management system or to the organization so it need to be stated by the organization 
so voluntarily stated it can be generally implied or obligatory like we discuss in the legal and legal requirements which are mandatory or obligatory to the organization so any particular need or expectations to be fulfilled is termed as requirement in environmental management system now when a requirement is stated and under environmental management system it need to be fulfilled when organization and its people take efforts for fulfillment of its requirement and when that requirement is fulfilled we call a conformance has reached so when there is a fulfillment of a requirement it is called as conformance is reached or conformity is achieved so under environmental management system efforts are necessary in order to get maximum of these conformities the reverse situation of this conformity is called as non conformity when there is a non fulfillment of a requirement when a requirement is obligatory mandatory to the organization or it is voluntarily taken requirement by the organization and organization fails to meet that requirement to fulfill that requirement then we call a non conformity is reached in order to have a very good performance of environmental management system it need to be ensured that the number of non conformities arrived should be as less as possible now the next subsequent activity activity need to be taken when a non conformity occurs is called as corrective action the action which is taken to eliminate the cause of non conformity and to prevent the recurrence is called as corrective action when we want to enhance the performance of the system and organization is failing to meet a particular requirement it need to be analyzed what is the cause or root cause behind that non fulfillment of a requirement if we are able to eliminate this cause of non fulfillment of a requirement we can avoid the reoccurrence of that non conformity hence understanding of the cause of non conformity is necessary in order to avoid this non conformity then the planning of the system need to be a very good one if organization is failing to do a comprehensive planning then chances of arriving non conformity are more hence lot of efforts are required in the planning stage itself so as to avoid this non conformity even after planning its implementation that is the do part here as well care need to be taken that all the planning need to be executed the necessary checking has to be done in order to verify the performance of the system and usually this corrective actions come in the act part that is the last part of pdca approach where we can suggest the improvement after analyzing the cause of non conformity if any non conformity has occurred so this was the last definition from this lesson understanding of these definitions and the interrelationships between these terms is very much essential for the professionals for the people who are working under environmental management system so in this way the definitions are being given in iso 14001 2015 standard for the different terms so for this session we'll stop over here and we'll continue the remaining part in the next session
थैंक यू वेरी मच